A man who risked his life to protect American troops in Afghanistan was murdered in Durham. Only on WRAL, we've learned the victim was a refugee here seeking safety. Thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Gerald Owens. The father of seven was killed December 30th on Holloway Street with his wife expecting their eighth child. WR's Durham reporter Sarah Kruger is live at police headquarters after talking with family members. Sarah, he was just doing something so many Americans do to make ends meet for their families. Gerald, according to his cousin, he was driving for Uber. That was his job here in the U.S. That cousin says Inzergal Tutahel was truly grateful to be here in America. In fact, he had just become an American citizen only a few weeks ago. Inzergal Tutahel worked for years helping American troops in Afghanistan as a translator, a dangerous job that his cousin did too, for which they risked their lives. It is extremely dangerous for those who work with the U.S. troops. Uh, the Taliban are easily targeting those people. Yusuf Mangal says the two of them were awarded special visas to come to the U.S. about seven years ago, where they were supposed to be safer. Both men started driving for Uber. That's what Mangle says Tutahel was doing at the time he was shot and killed. Police say his body was found in his car on Holloway Street. He was a very nice and a kind person. He was just do, de, doing his daily work to make money and feed his family. In a statement, Uber tells me, we are profoundly saddened by the senseless act of violence that took Mr. Tutahel's life and our thoughts are with his family. We are reaching out to offer support and we have been in touch with law enforcement on their investigation. Tutahel leaves behind a wife, seven kids and an eighth on the way, still back in the Middle East. Mangel says they were about to move here and still plan to. He has now started an online fundraising campaign to help them and to pay for the funeral. We didn't expect that he would be killed because we thought that America is more safe than Afghanistan. But right now we've been hearing that a lot of crime is taking place here in Durham. And I did check in with Durham police today. They say still there have been no arrests in this case. Of course, family hoping for some answers soon. Gerald. Boy, how sad. So many family members depending on him. Sarah Kruger live in Durham. Thank you, Sarah.